Hello everyone. For this activity, I am going to be showing you how to use the red eye removal tool in Photoshop and in PhotoP. And what the red eye removal tool does is it allows you to easily remove the red eye effect from a photo in which the camera that was used may have had a flash that created the red eye effect that is not wanted or it may be some sort of external external source of light like uh, some sort of other flash like maybe lightning somewhere nearby or a strobe or something that creates this effect so to do this activity you need to first go into classroom and choose one of the three images that are available uh, for the red eye activity either that or if you have your own photo of um, you or somebody else that you know with red eyes and you'd like to remove the red eye from it you may use your own photo however if you use your own photo you'll need to submit both of your uh, original photo and your final photo uh, that you where you've edited the red eyes out uh, into this Dropbox so I'm gonna go ahead and begin and to start I'm gonna start with Photoshop first we need to open the file. Now if you haven't downloaded the file yet, go ahead and pause this video. And then when you're done downloading the file, go ahead and open up the file. It should automatically open Photoshop if you're working with Photoshop. If you're working with Photo P, you'll have to go through the file menu. I'm going to go through the file menu in Photoshop to show you how if you already have yours downloaded. So if you go to File, Open, and then locate your file it should be in your downloads because in most cases that's where it ends up in my case it's in a different spot and I'm going to locate red eye 2 and there we go so we got this dude who looks kind of demonic because of his uh, the red eye effect and we want to remove that so to remove it you simply go into your toolbar here and you should see a band-aid looking tool I think that's the default it's either that or the spot healing brush with the little circle above it but one of those should be the default if you hold your mouse down on that icon you'll see red eye tool down there you can also get it by pressing J enough times until you see the red eye appear on this bar up here so if I keep pressing J eventually I'll see it but I have the red eye tool open and so now to use this I just need to go to his pupils here and click on them and voila it turned them both dark so now we remove those red eyes so now if I go to file save as and save it onto my computer and stick it in my documents then I can upload it to classroom and that's how you do it in this program in Photoshop. Now in Photo P, give me two seconds and I will show you how to open it in Photo P and do the same thing. In Photo P, we need to go to File, Open, and again it should be in your downloads. Um, now I'm not using this on a Chromebook, so I have another place where I have my file. And so I'm just going to get it from there, Red Eye and if I go down my list here to the band-aid again you'll see the last thing on here is red eye tool and just like in Photoshop I can point my cursor right at the pupil there and I can click on it now here's one thing you might notice in this is that if I look at the eyes there's still a little red there so I might need to go back and use this a little bit more and just kind of paint around the eye a little bit you don't want to do too much because you might you might discolor parts that you don't mean to but now if I zoom out it looks fairly normal so then in this case since you did it in photo P you go to file and then go to save as PSD and it should automatically save it to your uh, downloads as red eye whatever with a one in parentheses showing that you 
are saving a copy of the original file, but now it's saved with the edit in it. So it's a different file. So that's the one you'll submit. Now if you use your own photo, let me show you how to do that, um, you'll need to have it um, you'll need to have it sent to your Chromebook or your computer using um, you could use like your Google Drive or something like that. Um, but you'll just need to simply, whether you're in Photoshop or Illustrator, have access to it. So if, you, if it's on your Chromebook because you sent it to yourself through Google Drive, you can download it into your downloads and then you'll just literally open it from that location. It'll be a JPEG so you'll have to go to File Open. Um, so you'll do that in either the case that you're working with Photoshop or with Illustrator. My case, I have some pictures in here. I'll just pick one really quick just to show you how to do this. So if I double if I double click this, it's not going to open in Photoshop. But if I go to File Open or Photo P, go to File Open and locate that file. Then oh, I'll, I'll use this one. I saw the other one. I see the other one. I'll use this one. If I double click that, voila, there it is or in Photoshop, I can go to File Open. Another thing I can do is I can literally go into the place where I have the file open, open the window, and then I can drag it from there to the around where the options bar is. If you do that, you'll see a little plus sign up here, and boom, it'll open a new tab with the file. So there's multiple ways to do that. We'll get to Betty White in a little bit. So. That's how you do this assignment or this activity. And um, once you have finished this one and submitted it, go ahead and start on the next one, which is straighten and crop.